In Mad Men's pilot episode, we first see Don Draper as a charming businessman. He figures out a tough cigarette ad, lands a department store deal, fools around with his bohemian girlfriend. And then, in the very last minute, we find out he is also a family man, taking the train to his upstate New York home, where a wife and two children are waiting for him. That postcard perfect house with the fire engine red front door is now on the market for $1.15 million in New Rochelle, listed Sotheby's. The century-old colonial clapboard home was only featured in the period drama's pilot, Smoke Gets In Your Eyes, before the show resumed filming in Pasadena, California. But the six-bedroom, three-and-a-half bathroom resident was the first shock in a series that would take in seven seasons to show us that there was more to Don Draper than we were first made to believe. The home has many features that made it blend right in with the first episode setting in 1960s New York. There is a large glassed in porch, high ceilings on the first floor, four exposed fireplaces, an open staircase and a wood cover done with built-in bookcases, according to Zillow. The 3,544 square feet home is especially traditional in its interior, still featuring pastel colored pink and yellow walls and bathrooms with floral wallpaper. And there is plenty of space to entertain thanks to the home's large back and front yards, although unfortunately it is not the same one where Betty Draper famously shot her.